Everybody hates on trash can cleaning, and of course, these people have their own reasons for not wanting to purchase it, but some people have one specific reason, and it's the fact that they could just buy a brand new trash can instead of getting it cleaned. In this video, I'm going to break down whether or not that's even like a possible solution. If it makes any sense, are you going to spend way more money trying to buy a new trash can every time it gets dirty, or just pay like half the amount or even a quarter to get it cleaned? And if it ends up being a stupid idea, don't worry, I'll tell you guys. Okay, I completely understand it. Why would somebody want to get their trash can cleaned? Before I ended up cleaning trash cans and ended up cleaning my own trash can a couple times, I didn't understand it. But after a while, your trash starts to get nasty, especially if it's not getting picked up on time all the time, especially if they're leaving stuff inside of the can whenever they're dumping it. You, the kind of customer that thinks they would never purchase trash can cleaning, is hoping that you live in a perfect and beautiful world, that you're never going to have some really nasty, disgusting trash, and that it's not going to build up a terrible smell, flies, animals, anything like that. And the only way for you to get it away from your house or get them away from your apartment is to actually have it cleaned or go out and purchase a brand new one. For every other can cleaner out there in different states, that you're not going to go out there and get a price that's going to be crazy. A lot of these guys that are even commenting on my can cleaning videos talking about they're starting a can cleaning business, they're all crazy. A lot of these people want to start with the most wild prices, $50 a can, $60 a can, $70 a can. You're never going to get a job like that. So essentially, my prices are about $20 for the first trash can and $10 to $15 for any additional ones. That way, I make my money. I get in and out of there quick. The equipment doesn't cost me a ton of money. I make my profit. You get what you wanted. If you need help keeping up with customers, sending estimates, invoices, or collecting payments from all of your customers for free, then check out QuotaQ in the App Store and the Google Play Store, or you can try any paid tier right now for just $1 at myquoteiq.com, which is going to be the first link in the comment section and the description. Also, if you sign up for any tier for a year using my link, you're going to get a free coaching call with me. On the back end, you're hoping that you never come across a situation where your trash is that nasty. If Imagine if you went inside of your house and your garbage disposal hadn't been fresh and hadn't been cleaned and you hadn't put anything in it and you've been washing dishes and running trash in and out of it for so long that it starts to smell really, really, really bad and it's getting inside your house. Imagine if your trash can just right outside of your door was getting animals, was getting all this nonsense, flies. Now, every time you open up your door, you got flies coming in your house and the one solution is to get it cleaned. Would you really not do it? Would it actually be worth paying three to four times to five times the price of just buying a brand new one instead of getting it cleaned by somebody. So I'm here to settle the debate. Is this the main reason that a lot of people think they shouldn't even get their trash cans clean because it's not going to be worth the money at all when they could just go out and buy a brand new one? Well, if you do a quick search for trash cans, you're going to find a very, very, very wide variety of prices. A lot of them are going to be indoor trash cans. Some are going to be outdoor and then some are going to be the actual outdoor cans that a lot of people are going to use. But don't be one of those people that goes up there and Googles it and you say, hey, listen, I can found this one for like $15, this one for $30. They're, they're not good good trash cans. These are not going to be things that are going to be able to uphold a decent amount of trash throughout your entire week and then hoping that the entirety of the can does not get destroyed by animals that can be like, hey, listen, this is the easy one to get into. Most neighborhoods are going to have something along the lines of a $155 to $200 trash can outside. And when you search through and you look and you actually see for any quality trash cans that most people in most nice neighborhoods or even regular neighborhoods are going to have outside of their house, these trash cans are expensive. You're getting upwards of almost $200 now. So it is not worth it at all to try to replace your can instead of getting it clean once again the prices are not going to be that ridiculous even if you have to look for a wide variety there's going to be a ton of people offering can cleaning and if you're a can cleaner out there just set your prices to where people can afford you and people are going to rather use you rather than just going out and having to buy a new trash can which is not going to make any sense and regardless of the fact that i went out there grabbed this information for you guys some people could go back and cherry pick and say oh well listen i don't even care if i use a 30 dollars trash can it doesn't matter to me it doesn't matter that it's extremely flimsy and i probably couldn't even hold one to two bags if you're a fan Family, if you live in a home, you're probably going to use more than one trash bag a week or more than two trash bags a week. And even at that, the people might not even come for another two weeks. So you're going to have all your trash building up. And once again, the animal problem is going to come along. So most people are going to have that heavy duty, that more expensive can. Also, if you guys made it to this point in the video, I'm giving away a free lifetime membership to my school community where I teach you guys how to start all kinds of different businesses. Also, how to do like trading in the financial markets, how to do can cleaning, mobile detailing, couch flipping, car flipping, everything you can think of under the sun as well as being a part of a community with a ton of other people who want to start businesses and i'm doing free bi-weekly coaching calls so if you comment down the word cans i'm going to go ahead and give you that access to it so comment down below cans and the first person will get it and after all that at the end of the day it doesn't actually matter you guys if you're starting a trash can cleaning business or a mobile detailing business there's a million different reasons for a customer to decide that you're not worth their time or you're not worth their money and they're not going to want to spend it on you to provide them the service a lot of people don't even think that guys get their house
houses clean, to get their cars clean. There's many, many, many customers that I have serviced, almost like thousands of customers, even being serviced in Louisiana, a lot of them I've serviced. These people are not cleaning their own cars. They're not cleaning their own houses. A lot of them have maids. There's a ton of different maid services. I even have friends and their parents own maid services. It's a large thing. People are getting services done and they're paying for them, but there's always going to be the different kinds of customers that are going to knock you off and say, ah, your service isn't great. Your prices are too expensive. I can do it myself. And they never do it themselves, but you find that it's always going to kind of separate itself out how business works if you're going to be going out there and trying to pursue something and make a good bit of money with a side hustle by servicing somebody and solving a problem for another person that they don't want to have to solve themselves even like if it's something like lawn care a ton of people pay for lawn care but other people out there might be like i don't care why would i pay for that i'm just going to get a mower and a weed eater they have a ton of older people that are not going to be able to get out there especially in louisiana heat it's 100 degrees every day and your grandma would die trying to go out there and cut her own grass so you really don't want me to go out there and fix it for her so I'm just saying that over time, you're going to start weeding people out with your prices, weeding people out with your customer base, also even dragging in more people because they're going to see how credible you are, how many people you've serviced, how high quality you are now, and how fair your prices are based on the experience that you have. Not every single person that comes to you to get your service done, not every single lead that you find is going to be closed, and not every single person in the entire world is an open customer that you're going to be able to serve potentially one day. And that's okay because a lot of these side hustles are recurring business. You're going to find that over time most of the people that you're servicing are going to keep on coming back and coming back and coming back because now they have that appreciation for the new baseline that you've set for them if somebody out there has a nasty dirty smelly trash can and they've always had one their entire life and they don't even care then why would they care immediately right maybe one day they're going to decide to get their cans clean and then after that they're a fall they're a lifetime follower of getting their trash cans clean or maybe they'll just make their kids go outside with a hose and get it cleaned up but Obviously, you guys know and I know that that's not going to do the same thing. You're never going to be able to provide a service like an actual service provider does and the quality that they do it at and that this is their trade. This is their craft. This is what they're getting paid for along the lines of multiple different customers in multiple different areas. So you could never replicate what they do. And of course, all of this is my own biased opinion. I'm a trash can cleaner. I sell trash can cleaning as a business model. I want other guys to pursue trash can cleaning and make a ton of money with a small side hustle that not a lot of people know about. But people out there, there is a customer base. You just haven't found it yet. And especially if all the haters don't understand it, it's because they haven't seen it yet. Nobody that front runs with a different kind of business idea always is going to be put under the spotlight. And this is such a good idea. No, I think that you wouldn't want to waste the money on a new cam when you could get it clean for much, much, much cheaper. If you guys want to learn how I've made thousands of dollars with low ticket services like trash can cleaning and mobile detailing, check out the second link in the comment section description. There you're going to gain access to our school community. In the community, we have multiple courses, including my own course on trash can cleaning, as well as the course that I explain how I've got my first $10,000 in clients for completely free. In the community, you're also going to get access to the before and after pictures that I use to land these jobs, as well as an entire community full of like-minded individuals who want to start these low ticket services. So if you're ready to get started, check out the second link in the comment section description. We're running a special discount for the first couple of people that do join. So if you want to lock it in at the cheapest price and get the most value, join today.